for Tua Tagovailoa. The Dolphins star quarterback has been diagnosed with yet another concussion. Miami head coach Mike McDaniel just confirmed his quarterback sustained a head injury in a 26-20 loss to the Packers on Sunday and is now out for the team's game this weekend against the Patriots. Coach Mike McDaniel was concerned when delivering the news to reporters on Wednesday, saying this is a private time for him to focus on his health. They're treating it with a uh, prioritizing um, his health more than anything. Beyond that, I, you know, I, I'm not sure if it's uh, really my business to go into his day to day. You know, just honestly, it's um, it's science. You you, you don't want to. Um, this is a private time for him to focus on his health, um, and that's uh, all I really want to get into. The 24-year-old appeared to be injured in the first half of the game against Green Bay in Miami. After his head was seen slamming onto the ground following a hard hit, he stayed in the game, though he struggled throwing three interceptions in the second half. The latest concussion comes less than three months after he suffered head injuries in back-to-back -back games against the Buffalo Bills and the Cincinnati Bengals. Back in Week 3, Tua Tango Valoa suffered an apparent head injury in the first half of the game against the Buffalo Bills. However, the quarterbacks and staff labeled it a back injury and continued to play the rest of the game. Just a few days later, Tua's head was slammed off the turf while playing the Cincinnati Bengals. The former Alabama standout had to be taken off the field on a stretcher and was transported to a nearby hospital. All this really makes you question whether the Dolphins training staff is doing its job properly. This marked the second time this season the organization has come under scrutiny for how it's handled towards injury. The NFL Players Association launched an investigation into how the Dolphins handled the situation and the doctor who cleared Tua Tango Valoa was fired. How the whole incident was handled sparked some to say that Tua should just hang it up for the rest of the year and I think it's time he officially takes that into consideration. Even some medical experts urge him to consider retirement, explaining another significant head injury could lead to catastrophic long-term effect, but it's not clear yet if Tuatanga Valoa will return to the field this season or if ever again.